Welcome to Hong Kong and Beyond. I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. And today we have a film all the way from Australia, the Blu-ray release of the Zhong Yimao film starring Zhong Ji Li, The Road Home. release from Imprint and thanks to those guys for kindly sending us this copy. We've been really looking forward to watching this one haven't we? Oh we have. And the film originally came out in 1999. Now for a little synopsis which I shall read to you from the back of the disc in the slipcase. An unforgettable journey into the realm of the heart. That sounds true. Upon the death of his father City businessman Lu Yu Sheng returns to his home village to arrange the funeral. Lu's elderly mother is insistent that all of the traditional customs be observed. Despite the reservations the village elder has about the expense and practicalities of this, her extreme obstinacy in the matter causes Lu to think back to childhood memories of the stories he heard told of his parents' courtship a romance that captured the attention of the entire village. In a flashback, the remarkable story of love and loyalty is told. So that kind of sums it up a little bit, doesn't it? You know, it, the um, the love story is between Zhong Ji Li, mm -hmm. the girl in the village, and the teacher that comes to teach at the village. And, um, my God. It really is a well-told love story. How it's did very much so. how did this film make you feel, Shaz? Um, it made me feel happy and sad. Mm -hmm. um, as the story unfolds, you know, you, you feel the elation of um, the main character, and then her despair as things progress. And yeah, you, you just really feel it. Yeah. What about you? Well, for me, the. I just felt watching this film made me feel like I wanted to be a better person. Now I know that might sound a little bit bizarre to some people, but because of the innocence and the purity, the characters in this, and that real purity of love, and it just made you feel like they have something living that simple way of life right. that they do in the village. Yeah. So pure, so fine, so delicate that it you know, it just you look back, look on your own life and reflect and think, God, have I got things right? You know, mm. I, I really wish I was a, a nicer person like these people are. That's, that's what I was thinking. Mm. So, you know, this film had a lot going for it. What aspects did you like the best? Um, I found it really interesting that um, the flashback sequence which was a, a large portion of the film was in colour and the film starts in black and white and finishes in black and white and I, yeah I just thought it was interesting in that most films do it the other way round whereas mm -hmm. they start in colour and the flashbacks are normally hazy or black and white yeah but then I was thinking um, it could be because the colour scene you know the colour sequence was the happy story and the black and white sequences were where the father has passed away and dealing with the funeral side of it. So that, that could have been the, you know, the reasoning behind it as well, maybe. That makes sense. Mm. That really does make sense. For myself, I just really like the simplicity of this contained story. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, the old classic, boy meets girl, mm. but done so powerfully, you know? If you like your romance and your dramas, like I do, then this one's gonna touch you. I mean, you know what I was like watching this, especially come the end. I, I was like becoming an emotional wreck. I was still trying to hold it in, like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was like, would you like a tissue? Oh, baby, yes, please. Yeah, so <laughs> a little bit embarrassing to admit, 
but I do like it when a film touches me like that here, and this film definitely mm -hmm. did. Yeah, it was it was so emotional, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Very well told. Do you think the film could be improved at all? I really don't. No. I can't see, you know, normally I've got some complaints or something I want to change or something where I think, oh, if you did this, mm. that would be better. Yeah, yeah. For myself, I think it's kind of perfectly done. I don't think there's, I wouldn't want to touch it. It would be like mm. adding a, a hat on the Mona Lisa saying, oh, she'll look better with a hat on, you know? <laughs> it doesn't make sense yeah. to me. What about no. you? No, I, I agree. I think it, it was, you know, well-rounded film other than be greedy and want a bit more of the story, you know, the flashback extended, you know, a bit more of their lives. Yeah. But other than that, <laughs> but then again, I don't think it would necessarily work as well if it had done that. So I think it's perfect as it is. And I've got to say the soundtrack in this film, I thought was a joy. Yes. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I, I felt it really fitted the film, the type of film. Mm. I did notice um, that some of the music in it reminded me of um, the, uh, some music from Titanic, you know, the Titanic film. And that came out just before this, I think, or around the same time. And um, we noticed in the background, in the more recent um, scenes, there were some posters for the Titanic yeah, film. In the black and white scenes yeah, in, the modern, yeah. in the modern setting or the present setting, yeah, yeah. there was like, she had two Titanic posters up, didn't she? The mum in her little home. So Which, I wonder if that was deliberate that the music sounded similar? I had never noticed that on a previous view and you know, but when you pointed it out to me, I'm like, oh yeah, it does kind of have that. So whether that's accidental mm. or it's just mm. us reading into it, I don't know. But yeah, I did think, oh yeah, it does have that sort of sound. Uh, I, I really like every, every you know, sound beat in it, I think, match what was going on in the film. Yeah, yeah. You know, Master Craftsman Very really well done that really well together, hasn't he? And the photography, this film had some stunning photography, didn't it, Shaz? It did. I mean, I, I noticed one particular scene really stood out to me where the girls stood in um, snow mm. and there's a bit of, you know, the moon or sun behind her and the way the trees are around her, all the snow, it just looked beautiful. Mm. About you. Yeah, some of the autumnal colours as well. You yes, know, there's yes. some really rich sort of yellows and oranges and greens in there. And you know, the countryside, the vistas look absolutely amazing. Uh, it's like you could take a still from this and frame it as a piece of art. Yeah. And yeah. then the colours within those backgrounds, like when Zhong Ji Li has on her red coat when the teacher first comes to the village. Yes. And that makes an impression upon him, but as a mm. viewer, it makes an impression mm. upon us because it stands out against everything. Mm. Really cleverly done. You know, small little details that make such a large part of this story. Yes. Yeah. Standout performance. Um, obviously the main character, Zhang Ji Li. Yeah. Played Selby, yeah. Yes, yes. And I also quite liked um, the son, um, Hong Lei Sun, yeah. Big Sheng. I thought he was pretty good as well. Yeah, he was, yeah. he was, you know, minimalistic, but really effective. Yes. You know, he played it exactly how it needed to be, no over the top with it. Yeah. And you really got a sense of, you know, he goes through a little transition within the film, doesn't he? with mm. how he thinks and feels just to maybe thinking his mum is asking too much to maybe mm. side in with her, her wishes and um the the woman that plays his mum which is obviously Zhao Di but older yeah she was great too yes. you know yeah, I, I really felt her, yeah. her yearning for what she had lost mm. and yeah to to reflect that earlier character or or the you know character Zelda from when she's younger and then mm. make you believe that it's her that's older. Yeah. But that can't that's not easy to do. And no. she she did it really, really well. And I put that down to um director. You, you think, you know, obviously John Gimel's done like Hero, House of Flying Back is and um, you know, Shadow, all these big action mm. films. How does this compare for you? What, what kind of job do you think he did on this film? I thought he did a really, really good job on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You can see why he was offered those big films after films yeah. like this. 
I mean, it was just put together so perfectly. Yeah, he doesn't drop the ball at all, does no, he? No. Not once. Um, in short, folks, I would say this film is a masterpiece. And um, for me, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. Well, funnily enough, that's exactly the same as what I'm going to score it. 10 out of 10, because see, it just felt perfect. It couldn't be anything less, no, could it? No. Um, if you like dramas, particularly romantic dramas, and this is unusual as in, there's no like love scenes or even kissing scenes. No, it's all no. told with yearning, longing yes. looks, yes. which it becomes palpable. It's incredibly mm. well done. Yeah. And um, this Blu-ray from Imprint, you know, gets the thumbs up from us. It looks beautiful. The transfer, mm -hmm. there's some soft grain on it, and the colours are really vibrant. Leaps off the screen at you, so we're really grateful to have it. There are no extras, so depending on what type of collector you are. You know, you may or may not want to opt to buy this. I don't think there's any better editions available. Certainly no editions with extras on that I know of, but kudos to Imprint for getting this out there on Blu-ray yeah, looking yeah. so well. We will leave a purchase link in the description and uh, we hope you enjoyed this review and we certainly enjoyed watching the film. Yeah. Any last words before we go, Shaz? Um, just that... If you give this film a chance, you won't regret it. Agreed. We will catch you on the next one.